Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today, we are talking about CAS module. The CAS is a, a computer control module that related to a key uh, function. Before CAS module, there is another module, they call it EWS. As the technology advanced, that one was replaced, uh, they changed the EWS and they come with the CAS system, car accessory system. Inside here, there is uh, a lot of variable information where the key information are written here. You see that like this connector here actually is a connector where connected to a cable that going into another box where you put the key. The key information come from the key where the socket is coming here, analyze it, come out, send it to the engine computer where it can open fuel or disable fuel if the key is no good or startability, the cranking or injectors. Uh, this for BMW and Mini, Mini Cooper also use the same cast module. If the car, if the key load, it, the file for making the key is already uh, store in the headquarter of BMW. Like right now, if you lost the key, you go to the dealer and you say, look, this is my car. I lost the key. I need another key. They just take the proof of ownership. Uh, I get confused. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody called me and I don't know where I was. So the dealer have the software. You give him the information, the proof of ownership, and you go back and you go, you, after two days, they order it and it's ready to go. You just put it in the car and it start. This is one way. The second way is there's a lot of functionality. Like if you need, uh, there are some tools, aftermarket tools that they do more function inside APROMs. For example, if you lost the key and you have no way to make a key or the dealer say they don't have it or, uh, or if you wanna, the aftermarket locksmiths people, they have a different way of doing the the key for this one how they do it they are going to open the sorry you're going to bring it to them there is a lot of programmer there on the market okay be careful if you're using a knife don't cut your then don't do not cut your hand this just may be for warranty purposes if somebody open it maybe they know that somebody open it i believe so if not, they will not spend all this money here. Okay, now, to take this one out, is very simple. Get a screwdriver, you see here, and check this one here too. Be careful, do not. just to help us yes so now if you are, if you want to work on uh, computer programming and diagnosis and uh, programming with this platform here this is uh, cas 3 there is cas 2 cas 3 cas 3 plus and maybe cas 4 too you see here it says cas 3 plus you can even swap the cases. You can read the information, write it back into a car. There is a lot of a lot of functions that you can do using this. Uh, I use before I use a EPROM reader program. There is a lot of them. You're gonna read the information that it contain the key manually by using a programmer and soldering wires into it. And then after you read it, you go you 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 write that information into an empty key. And then you save the key and you write the key back into the, 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 the cast module and you take it, you go back, you put it in and the car will start. This car is Mini Cooper and the Mini Cooper have this kind of key. You see, this is Mini Cooper, it has this kind of key. 
and it will work from 2008 all the way to 2013 14 as long as it is um, as long as it is uh, cast three the mini cooper have this remote you put the key inside it's sliding it and it will work here inside this place is where you can get the mechanical key after you read the information after you read the information you see it holds it holds it here so when you push this it release 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 the, the holding from this place here and the key go out inside this dump it have a mechanical key coat is in is available inside you read this one you write it back and it's the same way that you do it it is for other bmw keys like you will get the same cast module and the key could be like this for mercedes benz <coughs> sorry this one is an aftermarket uh bm i'm sorry we told i say mercedes benz is wrong this is aftermarket bmw key so the same function for this is to read and write down the information here using programmers there are a lot of programmers there uh, you can use them and do uh, key programming those programmer is to read the information here like for example tango tango i used it before it is very great tools you can read the information with any uh, EPROM reader we call it EPROM reader and open tango put the key here write down the, the information into the key and then save the file and go back and write down the file back into cas3 or cas3 plus some newer beer some newer cars you don't need some newer cars this the, uh, this one here i'm saying it if you do not have if you don't have a car with you but if you have a car you can plug in by obd2 using um, your programmer and write down those keys still also you will get the key code into uh, the key code to cut those key inside it but the newer cas4 and plus or the fem there is another module also that one you cannot get it it's not available it's not available uh, the key code you have to either you have to leash it you use a leash it, or you have to send the customer to the dealer to get you the key code to cut the emergency key also the same tools that read this one it can it have a function of replacing the whole cast module the cast module is no good you you will be able to read the information um, from the old one if you are able and then code it or make the key for this one if you know like if you can make a new key or some functions and then you write this cast into the the cast sku into the engine computer or the engine computer sku back into the cast sometimes you need to upgrade or downgrade the cast module if you need to do keys so our job today is to come here and look for a little bit of connection and we will try to read the information out of here write it down and prepare the key and then when you go with the key you just put it into the car and the car will crank and start and you're good to go my what we learn from here is are we can we program the key into the cars even the car is not there yes can we program the key into the car if the key is available if you want key to add it yes that you can do it if this cast module go bad, we will be able to replace it. Okay, uh, for now, this is uh, the, the information that we have it. I was, sorry, I was talking and somebody interrupted me. I forget what I'm talking about. In the next video, I am going to use uh, this tool here, Maxi 6. There is a lot of tools, but I'm going to use Maxi 6.
with its programmer which is this one here I'm gonna connect this to Maxi 6 and I will follow the step and I will solder wires like before on this system here and I will read it and I will put this piece okay I will read it then I will put this piece here I will write down the information here correctly test it everything good and then this will work perfectly uh, thank you for watching mobile electronic diagnostic please subscribe share and like and if you have any question feel free to ask i will do my best to answer this is muhammad harun idris